Some of the most incredible discoveries in human history have been found by the two Voyager spacecrafts. Even though they were launched over 40 years ago, they are still collecting data while flying through space at approximately 38,000 miles per hour, or 17 kilometers per second. The spacecraft have explored Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. At each of these stops, they've sent back detailed and stunning views of the strange worlds they've come across. They have revealed ice-covered moons, deep space volcanoes, and even water located millions of miles away from Earth. Voyager has reached places that humans never could. Right now, Voyager 1 is 12 billion, yes, billion, with a B, miles away from Earth, while Voyager 2, on a totally different trajectory, is 10.5 billion miles away. At this distance, it takes nearly two days just to communicate with them. That's just how far away these vessels have gone, and they're not done yet. So, what are some of the most mind-blowing discoveries from this historical space mission? And what's the next destination planned for the Voyager spacecrafts? Voyager 2 was launched from Cape Canaveral on August 20th, 1977, and Voyager 1 was sent into space on September 5th, only weeks later. Just a mere 18 months into their mission, the two ships made their first exploration. The inaugural location was Jupiter, where the ships were able to discover in great detail the deep churning clouds that floated above the planet's surface. The image quality was unlike anything else ever seen. But another discovery was just around the corner on one of Jupiter's moons. The moon, Io, was captured in its full glory and it revealed something startling and unexpected. Volcanoes. Up until that point, the only known volcano activity was on Earth. But when the Voyager spacecraft flew by Io, they found 10 times the amount of volcanic activity than on Earth. Jupiter's moon, Europa, also had surprising discoveries that revealed a cracked surface, which for the first time suggested that there was liquid water below the surface. Before Voyager explored Europa, the only known liquid ocean belonged to Earth. These were just two of many discoveries that Voyager would send back home to Earth over the first years. When Voyager reached Saturn in 1980, it sent back breathtaking shots of the planet and revealed so much. It uncovered an additional moon, among many other things. Firstly, Voyager took a deep look at the moons Enceladus and Titan. Enceladus was particularly interesting because it was the first time we had the chance to look at it, which has since been studied thoroughly and is now considered a prime candidate for life in the universe. Voyager 1 discovered a wealth of fresh information about Saturn and its moons during its approach. Prometheus, Pandora and Atlas are three new moons the spacecraft discovered in its trip past the planet. Prometheus and Pandora are F-ring shepherding moons, whereas Atlas is an A-ring shepherd. The discovery of these moons proved that Saturn's moons are largely made of water ice, something not known before Voyager. As mentioned, the probe also discovered fresh facts on Saturn's biggest moon, Titan. It was discovered that Titan had a thick atmosphere that obscures its surface from visible light cameras and telescopes. Titan's atmosphere, like Earth's, is mainly nitrogen. Nevertheless, its surface pressure is 1.6 times that of Earth's. Similarly, it discovered that Saturn's top atmosphere is 7% helium, and the remainder is largely hydrogen. Scientists theorize that Saturn releases more heat than it gets from the Sun due to its atmospheric makeup. But that's not all, there is more. Saturn's G-rings were also detected by Voyager 1. The exploration of Saturn and its moons had a huge impact on scientists all over the world, and especially those at NASA. It taught them that all moons are unique, special, and worthy of study. Moons are not just satellite rocks floating around planets, they are capable of some great and powerful things, such as life. In 1986, Voyager cruised past Uranus and snapped the first pictures of that gas planet and also uncovered 10 new moons too. Just three years later, Voyager 2 sailed by Neptune's moon, Triton. 
There, the spacecraft witnessed geysers of nitrogen erupting. This was something truly unheard of and changed the way that scientists viewed the possibilities of space. As one NASA pro put it, time after time, we found things on Earth happening all over the solar system. They're still moving along some years after they were originally launched, and they are still receiving groundbreaking information and data that scientists have always dreamed of. 32 years after its encounter with Saturn, Voyager 1 crossed interstellar space and became the furthest human-made object in the universe. At this point, the project was renamed the Voyager Interstellar Mission, and it was expanded to investigate the solar system beyond our outer planets. The new mission's objectives were to gather data on the heliosphere and the heliopause boundary, the sun's magnetic field's outer boundaries, and the outward flow of solar wind. The heliopause, the heliosphere's farthest edge, marks the entrance to interstellar space. Understanding this threshold has ramifications on our understanding of the sun's trip through the galaxy, which may lead to new insights about the condition of other stars spread around the universe. When Voyager 1 first reached interstellar space on August 25, 2012, scientists got their first excellent glimpse at the heliopause. They couldn't understand what they were seeing at first. For example, scientists discovered that the interstellar magnetic field is two to three times greater than previously assumed, implying that interstellar particles exert up to 10 times more pressure on our heliosphere than previously anticipated. In addition, Voyager 2 confirmed that the heliopause is one leaky border, and the leaks go both ways. Before Voyager 1 passed through the heliopause, it zoomed through tendrils of interstellar particles that had punched into the heliopause like tree roots through rock. Voyager 2, however, saw a trickle of low-energy particles that extended more than 100 million miles beyond the heliopause. Because of its up-close and personal view of the heliopause, Voyager was able to radically transform the way scientists understood it and the Sun as a whole. The Voyager spacecrafts have discovered so much on their peaceful mission through the cosmos. But perhaps the most stunning image they captured was the simplest. On Valentine's Day 1990, more than 10 years since launch, Voyager 2 turned its camera around towards Earth and captured the view of the entire solar system. It was so far away from Earth that our planet was just a small, single pixel blue dot that was nearly invisible to the naked eye. In that image and moment, Voyager summed up the entire idea behind the project and a fact that is both calming and unsettling. Earth is just one tiny piece of the universe and there is still so much beyond what we know. That's all for this video. But if you want to see NASA's newest mission to search for life deep in the cosmos, make sure to click the video on your screen. I'll see you there.